Short and sweet. That's my hopes for this morning. Lots to do. There's always lots to do. Today is, ah, today's Friday, TGIF. It is Memorial Day weekend. I'm getting ready to go on to the website and launch a sale. So the Memorial Day sale is always 15% off everything except for apparel. Um, but it's 15% off the whole website otherwise. So decals, swag, um, all the baits, even the specialty lines, that's going to be 15% off. And this is a glimpse of a very large, it's a 60-piece order. What I guess that's not very large, but it's large enough from the Buffalo Man from Dirk. So these are just a few pieces. I've got a bunch more over on the clear coat rack and then a bunch more to spray yet. Um, just to remind you guys, the orders that I get are always done in the order they're received. Uh, it sounds like order and order, but anyways, they're done in the order they're received uh, by date. And if I get more than one in a day, which is usual this time of year, then I do it by the time the order was placed. So if I get an order at 7.30 in the morning, and then I get another one at noon and another one in the evening, that's the order that I am going to be spraying these in. Right now we are spraying in the month that we're in. Last month I wasn't able to do that because I was super, super saturated with orders. Um, so we have caught up. So right now I'm at about a 14 to 20 day holding period, but that should ease once the, these, I've got a couple of big orders. The, that should ease up once these big ones are done. And then I have, then I have that. So I, I haven't opened this yet and I'm wondering if, <laughs> so um, one of my clients said he had an old bass mailbox and I'm thinking bass mailbox like this one, but I, the box is massive. So I'm wondering if it's like an entire mailbox that's a bass that's on standing on its tail. So we're going to, we're going to get into that, but it's going to be a, a custom respray for my client. Um, yeah, haven't opened that one yet, but that should be fun. That might be a spray session all unto itself. But the reason I'm holding this one first, uh, this is a deep water crawl and it's, it's a normal crawl pattern, but it's done a little bit differently. One of the things that I like to do, especially during the summer months, is I like to add white back into the bait because sometimes they get a little, the, the crawls get a little bit of bleached out and we have a lot of clear water streams and rivers and just establishment lakes. We have lots of clear water lakes in Arkansas. So a lot of times this is a better match the hatch than say a bright red, which you'll get in the fall, um, or a different colored crawl. So we do see quite a bit of them in the rivers, in the Clearwater Rivers in northern Arkansas and the Ozarks. But what I've done with this is that I've added white back into the bait and it's something that I would be willing to give up. So if you guys want to see this particular pattern on how to add white back into a bait um, after you've already done a lot of the spraying, um, just to touch up and kind of give it a couple of highlights, then I will be happy to include that in a spray session for you guys. So just let me know. Leave me, leave me a comment as to whether or not you would like to see that done. It's got just a little bit of orange in it, but mostly greens and whites, a little bit of orange in the face. And then this particular one, this is a deep water brand name, but it doesn't have 3D eyes, but you can set small 3D eyes, especially for craws. Um, and then you can add a little bit more height to that. If you can get in there and see that, um, you can add a little more height to it and make those eyes look more realistic by adding just a, a paintbrush tip worth of white to the top of those, just to, to mimic pupils. So pretty cool. Let's move on though. I've spent three minutes on that bait. This is a poison arrow frog. And this is all uh, a smattering of Dirk's, the Buffalo Man's stuff here. Harvest crawl and a wiggle. Love these. This is that hot tuna. Smallmouth. Love this pattern. I, I can't say enough how many smallmouth we've caught on uh, on the wakes, on 1.5s, 2.5s. Just for some reason, they go crazy for this pattern. But there you go. That is the hot tuna. 
And these have just come off the clear coat rack. Grim Reaper with John's Jetson Eyes. Always leave his little calling card when I use his stuff because I firmly believe in making sure that you guys understand where some of the best custom guys are in the business. There we go. We're going to stop because he's barking at nothing. You done? Can I go on? Awesome. Okay, let's move on. Grim Reaper. This is a Banshee brand from overseas. Very cool bait. Um, probably one of the most expensive blanks that I get. The blank is about $4. But it's a fantastic paint and runs true runs really well by the way these these baits are killer uh, this is in the texas flood pattern and it's got a one tap one knot just just a phenomenal and it's got a cool shape too very unique shape very unique eyes um, but it is a uh, a coveted blank overseas if you can get them very cool one of my faves american bullfrog also with cool eyes from John over at Jetson. And I think I showed uh, the Facebook crowd these the, before I put the clear coat on. Blush red on the throat, a little bit of transparency, running up into a gold chartreuse with the bullfrog pattern on the back and these little ear membranes. A couple more left to show you guys today. <clears throat> this is a new pattern that I'm doing. It is a variation. It's uh, actually gonna be a two-part process. So we've got this, and then the gill transformation, after it's clear coated, I'm gonna add another layer of depth onto this and do some of the detailing behind and on, I'm sorry, not behind, but on top of this pattern. So I'm gonna add a little bit of orange into it and then put the ear flaps on there. And it will be, doesn't have a name yet, but it'll be a gill pattern when we're done. But I already have the first layer of clear coat on it and just a little bit more to go on that bait. And yes, it is perfectly fine to spray over top of clear coat. In fact, it's a, how a lot of people add that three-dimensional depth to their lures. So you can do that a couple of times and get away with it. And then once you start getting in, you know, three and four coats of clear coat, even though it's thin, it might add a little bit of extra weight that you don't want on that bait. And then we, for the last but not least, we've got that Arkansas River Craw. And for some reason, like normal, I can't get this knucklehead to focus. There we go. It's about time for new gloves. These have pretty much been sprayed through been using these for a couple of weeks. I'm a miser. I get as much use out of stuff as I possibly can because there's more and more there's going to be expenses and overhead and I want to make sure that I get the most out of what I got. So I give these disposable gloves uses. I'll flip them inside out when I take them off and use the other side. And once they start to rip, which is about a week or so, then I change them out. Just a little tip. Reuse what you can. But that's it, guys. That is your Friday morning spray update from the shop here at Jekyll Bates. I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna have to start using my vlogging cam for this. Right now, I use my phone, and what I like about it is that it gives you an accurate color, <clears throat> the, the true color in these phones. When I look back on the video after I've run it through and edited, it looks exactly like the Bates do. A lot of times the vlog camera, which is, it's a really good camera, it's my Nikon, um, but a lot of times it'll have a tendency to enhance like an auto-tune, so it's not a true color. I really like for you guys to see the actual color of the baits that I'm spraying. Um, I think it does justice to my work and it does justice to what you guys are buying, so there's uh, very little buyer beware that you can have. You're getting the actual colors when you see what's up with this. Look out for that Memorial Day sale. Um, it's coming. I should have it posted up in the next, I don't know. It should be up by this evening, Friday evening. And you guys are going to get this video shortly. So I'm filming at 
Ah, 10 minutes after 7 on a Friday morning. I don't even have my lights on yet. I've got more stuff to pull off the clear coat rack. I've got to go to Home Depot and get more mulch. i got a full day, and then I'm going to I'm gonna unbox that mailbox. Mm. If you guys want to see that one on a spray session, y'all let me know. You have a fantastic day. Happy casting, and I'll see you on the water.